We're here for Motorboats Monthly at the Southampton Boat Show, looking at some of the latest boats on offer today. This is Princess's brand new 56. Now this replaces the 54 in their range, as you might expect it's a couple of foot bigger. But the big news with this boat is it's built using their new resin infusion technique. And that means that the construction is stiffer and lighter, but crucially, it also means you get more room in the boat because there's less internal stiffening required. And that makes quite a difference compared to the outgoing model. Let me show you. The first difference we find as soon as we step inside because they've got rid of the sideboard on this side and found room for a settee opposite the main settee over here, which makes the whole thing feel a little bit more sociable. And then, as we move forward, the big change is that they've put the galley up here rather than being on the low level as it used to be. So you've got a nice connection with the saloon, big windows to see out of, and you've got the dinette right opposite rather than having to go up and down the stairs. And that's of course made quite a difference down below, and if we go on down I'll show you what I mean. Down here with no galley area, this lobby section here feels a little bit bigger. And as we move forward you've got your VIP guest cabin, and again, very good size and typical princess, beautifully finished. But the big difference with this boat is further aft. Let me show you the owner's cabin. This, I think, is where the difference is really felt. This cabin feels like it's from a class above. It's a really big, spacious cabin, and it doesn't have that very slightly hemmed in feeling that 54 suffered from. The other thing they've done with this boat is rather than having sectioned windows, it's just one big pane with an opening porthole, and the view out is just fantastic. The other area that's really changed on this boat is the flybridge. Whereas on the 54 you had a sunbed back here, they've put a huge seating area around this table. And then up here, you've got another seating area alongside the helm. And as you can see, there's an infill there to make that into your sunbed if you want it. So it's bigger than the 54, it's more spacious, it's more modern, and it's more technologically advanced. So you'd expect to be a lot more money. But here's the interesting thing. Princess have managed to peg the price of this boat to just 10,000 pounds more than the 54. Put that in perspective, that's a 1% price increase. That's pretty spectacular. This is Bato's brand new Swift Trawler 50. And this boat is all about very comfortable living. And to give you one idea, what they've done with this boat is they've actually made the side decks asymmetrical. So you have a much wider one on one side and a narrow one on the other. And to give you an idea of just how comfortable this boat is, this one is the narrow side. So this is the wider side, and again, you've got lovely high bulwarks here. And the other thing that Bantu have done is they've put a side door next to the helm, so you can go from the deck area to the cabin area very easily. The helm area here has got a real little ship feel to it with this great big vertical wheel. And they've put this boat on IPS engines, and the controller for that is back here, so that if you're short-handed, you can actually stand on the side deck and reach the controller as you come in. It's a nice feature. You've got a nice little dinette area here to enjoy your croissants in the morning, and the galley is up on this level as well. And how about this for a neat feature? This is basically a dumb waiter, so you can put your drinks or your food on here, and there's an access hatch up on the flybridge, you can just lift it straight up through. And then finally on this level, you've got this lovely comfy saloon area, big sideboard, and lovely big windows for a good view out. Down on the lower accommodation, you've got a good size VIP cabin forward, and then just back down here, there's a small third cabin in here, and what's quite nice is if you wish to, you can have this one as a little office. And then back here, you've got your owner's cabin. And this is where the IPS, of course, is a real advantage because it puts the bulkhead right to the back of the boat and gives you this wonderful, big, spacious owner's cabin. This is the Marax 320. It's a Norwegian boat, and it's brand new to the boat show. And it's very cleverly conceived because what they've done is they've got accommodation through the whole boat. You've got a forward cabin at this end, an aft cabin back under the sunbed, and your saloon here. And yet they still managed to keep a really open feel to it with this massive opening roof section here and an open up back end as well. Being Scandinavian, the detailing of course is fantastic. This is a perfect example. This seat here, which of course is part of the dinette, when you're underway, will very quickly and easily convert so that you've got plenty of forward seating. This is the aft cabin. Because the engine is centrally mounted, you've got massive of space back here, and they've put this huge window line in around here, and two good-sized beds. There's a double on that side, and a single over here, so you're not short of sleeping or flexibility. They even put a little table in the centre here as well, which is a rather nice feature. It's not often on a 32-foot boat that you can't decide which is the owner's cabin, but as well as that palatial aft cabin, this forward cabin is massive. This is technically a double bed, but you could sleep three on here. Even the heads is a clever bit of design. What they've done is sunk the shower tray into the centre line of the boat 
in order to give you six foot plus headroom in here. As I say, for a 32 foot boat, it's quite incredible what they've got in here. She's got a Volvo 300 horsepower engine and it's a single shaft drive. So the engine's mounted under the floor here and just a conventional drive, no out drive. Gives the boat about 22 knots cruising and top speeds in the high 20s. This is Bailana's new 642 and the thing about this boat is it's clearly been designed by somebody who actually goes boating on this style of boat before you've even stepped aboard the clever bits start. So for example this sunbed rather than have to scramble over it it's designed to flip over so that you can walk through the boat without stepping on the cushions and even better still they put a little leg in here so that you can have that as a nice backrest for when you're doing your sunbathing. More clever ideas here. They've got some nice L-shaped seating area and this seat here has got a reversible backrest so you can just slot it over for more seating or for facing forward. This table is standard and it has its own little recessed stowage and this seat here is on a swivel so you can either have it as your helm seat or you can swing it around just to join the party just here. They've moulded some decent steps into the door here so you can walk through the screen nice and easily. Even a rail on the side of it just there. And further forward, there's a proper little roller for the anchor to go over and a decent sized anchor locker as well. Here at the helm, they've put a little panel in here so you can get a chart plotter in and there's a proper compass. And you've got a comfortable seat here with a lift bolster and even a tilt steering wheel. Finally, got a little cuddy in here and they've built in some nice little glass sections into the ceiling to get a bit more light into here. And everything down here is GRP so it's nice and easy to keep clean and keep looking fresh. They've even managed to sneak in a little porta potty and that sits back under the step here and can be pulled out for use. You can have V6 engines in this, but the base engine is a three litre four cylinder, which will still give the boat over 30 knots, but it means that you can tow it on a single axle trailer and behind a normal car. But the best news of all is that you can buy this boat brand new for just under 27,000 pounds.